But hey, here's the plus side. Uh, here's the plus side sock. Overtime and good game, and Rocket League. Rocket League. Oh, the I thought RL was meant meant real life. You can tell the internet's warped, man. Well, hey, look at it this way. At least you didn't go out the O2 champ. You at least got a W. Take that. It's a lot easier to look at the uh, look at the negatives than the positives. No gamer David, I don't. I don't hate myself that much. Again, I hate myself, but not that much. Don't worry, I'll hate myself in the future when I say, Hey, I want to play another Warriors game. I want to play another Warriors game. Oh, I have Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Let me play Let me play through that. I like that game. And then, essential sa and then essentially, I will become sad for the next 37 hours. Until I start walking all over, the, uh, all over the enemies again. And then I'll become sad for the next 37 hours. It's, it, it's like a cycle. It's like a cycle of self-hatred, you know? Not at this moment. I, okay, I should say because uh, somebody's gonna, like, because me saying it like that is gonna make me sound like a terrible person. I mean, I am, but it's gonna make me sound like a terrible person. But I, I don't add random friend codes. I don't add random friend codes at this at this moment unless I'm, you know, actively seeking out to play games with other folks. Yeah. And like, I, I only, and I should say, I only phrase it like that because there's some people who get really, really mad if you go, no, I don't want your friend code, but thanks for offering. If you tr try to say it nicely, they get, they get offense, they get offended and go, well, <laughs> in that exact tone, actually, verbatim. Okay, gimme. I am speed, Kerchu. Oh good, we're getting red jammers. My favorite. But yeah. But I hope you folks are having a fantastic night. Fantastic night, fantastic weekend. Me? I'm ready to unwind after I finished up that game. Just, I love Musou Fighters, man. I love the, I love that, I love the ga that game type and series. But I just, oh, <laughs> can't play chicken that hard. This isn't Hyrule Warriors still. Racha. <laughs> also, this gives me a moment to re, to, because I will tell you guys this much. Oddly enough, when I stop playing, uh, when I stop playing Pac-Man 99 or these uh, Battle Royale games that Nintendo has out, oddly enough, when I stop playing these games for a max amount of time, my Hiragana gets rusty as heck. Not my Katakana, because that's all Duolingo deals with is Katakana and Kanji. But my Hiragana gets rusty as heck. Kasai with the host. So Mukame Mukamiya yeah, Mukamian Shikaka te, uh, Tan. Yeah, it's Tan. And then just above that is Ratsha. What's up here? What's going on up here? Fume Oh god, what is that? Fume to Chin. I believe. Yeah, I do have to like sit here 
a long time and be like, hmm, what's this? What's this? Welcome. Welcome to learning another language. It hurts. <laughs> Well, at least I got taken off by fourth place. Oh no, stuff like that happens all the time, Kasai. That's... I mean, I can speak from experience with, with me in Spanish. You get to a point where you're just like, Oh yeah, I can speak parts of this language. I can just participate in the language. And then you start sitting with people that speak that language and they're just going, they're just going 100 miles an hour and you're like, Got that word, caught that word, that word. What is going on with the sentence? <laughs> like if I sit here right now and I was just like, okay, let me piece together a sentence I know I'm saying correctly in Spanish. It'll take me a minute, but once I spit it out, I can spit it out rapid fire. Like I was f almost like I was fluent Spanish and then yeah. Wow, they are, they are both still going. Holy cow. I mean, we realize we can't see in great detail, but still. Okay, enough waiting around. But yeah, you go up to somebody and you just, and you just say something, and you say a phrase. You say a phrase and they look at you like, what the hell are you talking about? Like somebody who, somebody in my last job who was from Belize. And um, someone I knew from Belize, like, you know, I asked him, hey, there's this, there's this flavor of Gatorade that was really popular when I was working at a gas station. And it was always the, the folks of Spanish descent that just bought like three or four bottles at a time. And I said it was cucumber and lime or, li or God, is it, is it Lima? No. Yeah. Lima y Pepino, and he stopped me like, "What the hell?" I'm just like, uh, "Does is Pepino not Spanish for cucumber?" He's like, "Oh no, no, it, it is, it is, it is, but it's also very much slang for a phallus." <laughs> he didn't say those words, but that's what he meant. Ah, so in the instance of. Ten. <laughs> so in the instance of this conversation we're having here, you know, I could say something like, uh, just give me a second. Nihongo, uh, Nihongo hanasemasu ka? To which I, to which I would reply, to which I would reply so, something along I'm, I'm still like using my knowledge of Spanish to help me with Japanese as well just like uh, Nihongo wa sukoshi uh, hanesemasu to which I think I just said I know a little Japanese At least I think that's what I'm saying. I could be horribly wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm horribly wrong even. Run a train, run a train, don't turn off. No, come back here. You must take this death. Ah, I got a KO, nice. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I got kind of in a rhythm. I meant to wait it out and go for something else.
But yeah, like other than like specific directions, I'm kind like I feel like I'm kind of getting to the point in, in Japanese. I'm getting close to the point in Japanese where I'm almost on par with what I know for Spanish. Basically, the I won't die if I'm if I am in a if I find myself in Japan randomly, I won't die within ten within ten minutes. Oh, good, a red jammer. I can't go down there. I'm going to play a little, a little bit risky here. Okay, that's fine. Let's wait him out. Go. Wait him out, wait him out. Go. Oh, get down here. But I think the other I think the other thing to take away from this is that the other thing I've taken away from me learning uh, Japanese much as I am is thankfully with the immediate with the media and medium I I am in and partake of so much. I'm at least not becoming your stereotypical American who tries to speak Japanese of 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 oh, hi, you know the cringy Japanese, so to say. Okay, fine. We're not playing that game. Play they don't want to play the game anymore. Bad day. <laughs> and walking up, you know, basically saying the same three or four phrases they know in Japanese and not constructing a sentence at all. Nakifiru? Yeah, Nakifiru. There's a B. No, it's V. Or, yeah. You know, yeah. Yakifiru. God dang. Taka. Takawafuru. And G. The winner of this match, G. I hope you guys haven't missed the these particular Pac-Man 99 things when they do happen. Because this is what this all devolves, uh, devolves into at the end of the day is I just play Pac-Man. And then I just spout off what little of a, of a t knowledge or topic I, ha I have. And then we go back to the BS. <laughs> but hey, we can take this as a learning experience where everybody can learn something. You can learn, you know, learning a little bit. Here's a free one you can take from me. Don't stick that fork in that, out, in that electrical outlet. You'll be lucky if you see you tomorrow. Thankfully, I haven't done that from experience. Just don't stick that fork in the electrical outlet. That's all I'm asking. There's, there's, there is no hidden prize inside of that, out, of, inside of that, uh, inside of that plug socket. Unless the prize you're looking for is death. Then yeah, it's in there. Go for it. Go nuts. <laughs> ah yes. Prey Scooter. Terrible. Since Fast to hit top 50. Oh, we. Why are we in top 50 already, by the way? I'm just curious. Ooh, this is getting spicy really fast.
And extend my timer out just a little bit. Ooh, man. The jammers, they're coming in hot today. Red jammers already? Really? All right, we're going to dodge. Dip, dive, dip, dock, and dodge. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna go over here and get this. Uh, eventually. <laughs> okay. Uh, train. No, standard. Let's leave this on standard for now, because we're getting to the point where oh, I can't, I can't stick, I can't stick around. I have a red jammer blocking my next power pellet. All right, ready for this? Epic dodge. So epic, you never saw it coming. Oh boy, that's a he that's a heavy field. Well, there's an a there's an apple in the center, so we get that at least. Eh, no. Okay, I have enough to clear the board. It's a, sour, it's a real sour please moment right now. You know, the bop, the bop, it's playing. The whole bop, the entire bop, the entire, the entire thing. Why did I switch it over to speed? Because I never learned my lesson. Oh, I was looking at the chat and didn't pay attention what's going on. Uh, I ruined a sour please moment. <laughs> Don't you mock me with the name Teba. Son of a gun. <laughs> Teba, the ultimate hero that Hyrule needed. Defeating me in Pac-Man 99. I should ask, because it sounds much different on my end, but I need to ask you guys. How was the audio balance? Because I listened back to one of my streams recently, and for some reason the game was almost blowing me out in volume, even though I have it set to like minus 20 decibels or like down like 60 percent and while it's going on, i'm gonna read you can't hear the game well it's in a quiet mode right now so i probably picked a bad time Yeah, because I, I, by the way, Farf knows because I made it a Twitter highlight. I didn't tag him in it, but I made it, I made it a highlight on Twitter of the realization of who Ur Urbosa really is. But I was editing it, and like the game, like Age Calamity was super freaking loud over me, and I don't know why. Like I've used the same audio balance settings for the past year and a half. It just. <laughs> Anyway, let me actually continue. Yeah. If you're like me, if you're... Heru Heru Take, okay, an interesting name. Anyway, if you're someone like me, when you're given a group of kids to watch over, when you're given a group of kids to watch over, and you're not somebody who deals with kids normally, you do everything in your power to keep those kids from not dying. And I mean, everything. <laughs> like a kid could be sitting there like a kid will be sitting there playing with a pen like this, like how you do in school to entertain yourself. And you're just like, hey, give, give, give me that. No, no pens.
<sighs> a little bit of team a little bit team i but not terrible that's how i was when my when uh my sister had her first kid basically the first uh the first nephew slash niece i've ever had contact with in my life is they is like you know he's about a week old my sister's like oh you want to hold him and i'm just like okay i don't want to drop him though like i literally said these words i feel scared that i'm going to drop him like i don't want to hurt i don't want to hurt like, the kid and knowing me i'm going to have one of those random clumsy moments where it's just like oops tripped over the rug landed on your kid I suppose now would be a good time to like get your, cause I'll talk for a little bit here, but now would be a good time to say, hey, it's too loud or it's too quiet one way or the other. Because this is like what the game volume is going to be like for a majority of what we're dealing with here. Where art, where art thou going, brother? Okay. Because I will say, it, it has, th this, uh, this train of posting this hasn't been a thing for a while on Twitter lately. But, it was a couple weeks ago, and I was just like, and it was just like, yeah, I was like, yeah, the streamer cannot pay attention to their own audio balancing other than whatever little green and yellow bars are below our OBS thing. We can't act it, we cannot actively monitor the sound levels. So we have to rely on you guys, the viewer, to actively monitor the sound volume to make sure that we're not uh, blowing out your eardrums. Or making so you can't hear a dang thing. Cause we can do because we can do tech. We can do tech, we make we can make things look and feel and seem fine. But if we don't know what the problem is, we can't fix that. It's like working in it's like working in IT or working at any standard job in America or anything like that. If we don't know what the problem is, we can't fix it. Oh good, Red Jammer, my favorite. Oh, uh, the sound effects are a problem. Maybe I can bump it up a little bit. Oh boy. Sorry, please, moment's happening right now, but I'm a little stuck. I'm a little stuck. I'm a little stuck. Help! Oh my god, I actually had a moment. <sighs> Why is it every time I say it's a real sour please moment, I die? By the way, I will say, um, in... Oh god, is it is it capital S? I think it's capital S. Uh, but yeah, like in Twitch chat, like you guys won't, it won't appear in Twitch, uh, like it won't appear on the Twitch side if you don't have a uh, better Twitch TV or whatever, Frank or Facey or whatever it is there. But if you, at least if you know a command for a uh, better Twitch TV or Frank or Face Z thing, if I typed it right, let's see if I typed it right. If you, if I, it at least does show up in chat here. So, it may not appear on your end, but it at least appears on my end. And this is what I mean when I say sour please moment. Just 
get down, get funky. You've been updated on the etiquette of Twitch ever so slightly. I found the source of this gift one one uh, while ago, and now I just have it. Am I am on my computer? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this with this source gift, but I have it. Yeah. But listening to your own voice, that's a problem. But here's the thing. If I try listening to my own stream while I'm streaming right now with you guys here, you're going to hear everything several times over. And then uh, and then if I decide to take off my headphones and switch it over to my normal speakers, there's going to be feedback. You know that lovely ear piercing sound that happens when sounds loop in on themselves? Yeah, that'll start happening. And then nobody will be here. And then everybody will be sad. Including you, Jeremy. I see you back there. As I stare into the... Okay, this is a little creepy. I'm actually staring into the webcam, and I can tell I'm actually playing Pac-Man on the... Uh, down below. I can tell I'm actually playing Pac-Man, and decently. I do very much. I do very much miss doing these these Pac-Man 99 streams. And like I said, maybe I'll get maybe I'll get a little bit tired of this and we'll switch over to uh maybe we'll switch over to Pokemon Unite. Or maybe I can pull up that clip from the other night where I got cuz I saved the clip cuz of course you want to save a clip of your game where you got MVP as support, but maybe we'll play a little bit of Pokemon Unite as well because I managed to MVP as Blissey. You know, the Pokemon that has no, that if you're playing it right, at least in my book, if you're playing it right, if you're playing it right, has no attacking moves. Oh, almost, almost boned myself there. At least that's how I play Blissey and Unite. I play Blissey and Unite where I run full uh, support, where it's just my only, I run soft-boiled, Soft boiled and helping hand. That's all I do. I don't run egg bomb and I don't run double slap, I think, is its other move. I don't know what this other move is actually. Now that I've just not realized this. Tells you how much I explore the options of playing Blissey. Also, apparently, uh, Decidueye is a problem in Unite. Like, a real big problem. I don't know why I went for all the dots there. That was a bad idea. Help, help, help. Ah, I know why I went off for the dots, because I'm an idiot. It's now survival times. There's red jammers. I can't be... It's red, it's red jammers. I now have to play survival. I can't play for points. Top 10. Sour please moment. There we go. Got it. Come here. Let's me consume. Consume ghost. Okay, we gotta we gotta go. Oh, I can't get that one. Great. Hey, top three, we take those. Ugh. 
Also, this happens a lot when I play these Tetris 99 or Pac-Man 99, either one of these two games. This happens a lot when I play these games where I, it's probably because I'm like fishing for things to talk about out of a hat and failing at, at it most of the time. And then also play in the game as well. Like these, these two games, time just seems to fly. Like I'll tell you right now, I thought it was 10 minutes ago when I got through my post Age of Calamity speech. It's been f it's been almost 50 minutes. We're just going to wait and bide our time for now. Clear the jammers when they appear, but bide our time. Actually, a fun little story I can tell you guys is, uh, excuse me, is one of the last times I, one of the last times I was hanging out with my family and, so, and uh, as a byproduct hanging out with my nephews is I said, you guys remember how to play Pac-Man, right? And I show, and they, they saw this they saw this game in my home menu. And I said, oh yeah, you guys know how to play Pac-Man, right? And they're like, yeah, do you want to try playing this game? And they're like, okay, sure, yeah, we'll try it. It's, it's Pac-Man and it's a game on your system because Uncle Tyler has the best games on his system. What do you mean? What do you mean po po prodding my own ego? I don't do that. I will say, like, I, it was right before I had to leave leave for the night, so, like, they each got, they each got, like, one game before I had to leave, and, and that is another raid, uh-oh, it's Big Bobo, Big Bobo with a big raid, how's it going? I'm going to assume that I'm going to assume that you were playing. I don't have a shadow command, sorry, Bobo. But I'm going to assume you were playing some uh, brilliant diamond and shining pearl this evening. Assu assumptions are a terrible thing, but I'm going to assume anyway. Boop. I hope your stream went well. And everybody coming in here from uh, Bobo stream, welcome, welcome. Uh, I just got done playing so I just got done finishing up everything that wave 2 age or uh, wave 2 age of calamity DLC could offer so I basically have beaten age of calamity on uh, maximum difficulty at this point so I am free from age of calamity's grasp and now I'm just kind of unwinding with quote unquote filler games you know Pac-Man 99 maybe I might play some Pokemon unite later. Thought about, I also thought about booting up Mario Party at some point, considering I have I've had the game this whole time, but I haven't played it yet. A travesty, I know. Okay. I am doing well. I hope you are doing well as well, Bobo. This music's popping off, and I can't, I can't, I can't focus. The music's too fresh. this before I get myself killed. All right, we're in this we're in this phase where it just goes dumb fast. Uh. Okay, we got enough. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Dang it. What was I at? Oh, top 5. Is that a top 5 finish? Top 5 finish. Why would you just name yourself a run? A rune. Ko ko de rune uh nimuna nimuna It's a yakio yeah yakio ki er yo no sa yakio san That yakio san guy is always there <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, I suppose I could do the, I could do the streamer thing and talk about myself slightly, thanks to the recent rage, couldn't I? But yes, thanks, to, thanks, to, thanks to Bobo. I now get to, I now get to say who I am when I do. Hi, I'm Scooter. I'm a guy who plays games on the internet. I dabble in other arts and mediums. Uh, if you want to follow what what I do on the internet outside of Twitch, it's all down there just below me. Go nuts with that stuff. Okay, I'm done shilling. <laughs> me shilling is very light. As I tell a lot of people, a lot of people in the real world is I don't like to talk about myself a whole lot. I'll talk about what I need to, and that's about it. Mainly, I'm just here to let folks have a good time. Maybe laugh at my misfortune. Maybe share my misfortune. Maybe cause my misfortune. I I don't know, man. Ugh. The world wrap. Oh, speaking of that, okay. So I, so, Far probably knows the best out of everybody, but I haven't played League of Legends. I have not played League of Legends in a brick. I'm going to say seven years. But Riot is just kind of going unhinged right now with the amount of games that they're throwing out into the ether that, it, that are related to Le uh, League of Legends or the world of Runeterra, but isn't League of Legends. Oh, God. Woof. Like what is it? They put out, early, I think it was this week. It was either this week or last week. They this uh, they put out two games, in an action RPG, and a rhythm game. Oh boy, uh, it's time for fruit. But yeah, they put out an action RPG and a rhythm game in the last week, and they just put out a trailer, and they just put out a trailer. Uh, today for the fighting game they want to, they're trying to push now oh no I have I have both those games I just mentioned on my wish list I would love to play both of them because I love rhythm games I love rhythm games and I love action RPGs like if it's a traditional RPG I'm a little harder of a sell if it's an action RPG you got me oh yeah there's also Nunu's Wild Rompus coming later, probably middle of next year. I'm calling it Nunu's Wild Rompus. You can't stop me. I mean, you could stop me, but then somebody's going to look like a jerk, and it's not going to be me. Yes, walk into my booty. Walk into my booty! Kasai, I would read your comment, but I'm... It's it, it, it's go time. We're in go mode. No, don't touch me! Damn it. With a handy... A handy... Oh, a round of this with a handicap? Uh, what handy... Okay, I think I've got one. I can force myself to play on the train setting. Ken Ken? Is it queso? It's not queso, queso. It, I think it's Kenken. Japanese names are weird, man. <laughs> All right. So I can play around where I'm on train setting for my attack type, uh, which will help. Basically, what that what that does is I can I send out more. I do send out more enemies when I or I do send out more jammers when I do eat ghosts. But in turn, I am also even more susceptible to damage from, or I can, I'm even more susceptible to <clears throat> jammers myself. I think it's like a 75% increase. So like it's 75, it's like 50% increase going out, but it's 75% increase coming in. If that makes sense. Let me do a round like that. I 
I will keep it on train. If I come off a train, I will ch I will say I goofed and I will <clears throat> excuse me. I'll say I goof and I will restart. I will restart the ch the challenge on the next round. As soon as there's enough people in the match where I can actually get that set up. Remember to hydrate, folks. Drink water as well. Not juice. Tea's okay. But not juice. Not soda. Water. Learn from my mistakes. Uh, counter, train, train. How do I, oh right, it's buttons, haha. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I'm on train. This whole round, I'm on train. In fact, my right hand is now off my controller. I should put it back on so I have stability. <laughs> but here, here's how I can make sure I don't come off of it. I will do my best to hold this hand up the entire time so you know I am not changing up my attack style. Because even though it's, oh, even though it's, uh, tra uh transparent, you can see it on the left side there, what my attack type is. Shoot, shoot. Maybe I can set the controller on the desk a little bit to help with uh, stability. That's not helping actually. My arm's gonna get sore pretty quick doing this, isn't it? Okay, I should have waited. I should have waited to eat that so I could keep uh, Blinky in his perpetual state of death. Again, the arm is staying up just to signify that I'm not changing my attack type and I am probably, t you know, this is the biggest handicap I can have against myself. So apologies if you keep hearing a dull bzz every se five seconds. That's the uh, game, uh, that is the game telling me I have received uh, jammers in my... There are local jammers in my vicinity. Oh, I have too many ghosts on screen. Hold on. I gotta do a little bit of cleanup. I have done a little bit of cleanup. Okay, I had to make sure my hand was still on screen. Uh, damn it. The D-pad is like, because I'm trying to hold the controller with my left hand and also use it to move around, it's like the D-pad is boring into my thumb and it's hurting slightly. I'm whining. I, why do I have almost max medals? Oh boy. Red Jammer. Okay. There we go. That was a round. That was a round where I handicapped myself. I was on nothing... I was on nothing but train that whole time. I took more jammers to me that whole time. Hasha. We're, le we're learning more Jap Japanese names today. Anyway, let me look at stuff here. You know how it is. I kind of thumb through every between rounds. I kind of thumb through stuff. And... gosh once again time dilation is a hell of a drug because again 
I thought we've been playing, uh, including the last time I mentioned this, I thought we've only been playing this for like 15 minutes. It's been almost an hour. <laughs> Ugh. God. Ugh. I suppose I should ask. Run, I'm gonna run it back a little bit. <clears throat> Far if you said you you said you've been playing the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you've been playing the uh, RPG R the Ruin King. And you said it's not bad. Like, is that more, is that like more action oriented or does it still stick with the whole traditional RPG of these people have these turns in this specific order kind of thing? Cause I can tell you right now, if I have my choice, Okay, so it's one of those where depending upon depending upon what you do with your turn, you can go at a specific interval in the turn order. And for some characters, probably also give yourself more turns in the turn rotation. Because I'll tell you, I think right now... I think right now the team I would use would be Ilo Iloi or however you say her name, Iloi, Brom, Jinx, and if I have a fourth, uh, actually I don't know who my fourth would be. Dead ass. Oh good, it's Blink. I left Blinky alive. Not anymore. I also definitely put that in the wrong order. You know, you know me and my affiliation. You know my affiliation with the buff strong guy in the game. In a game. Braum is slot one. Braum? Uh, I hope. Yeah, that's close. That was a little too close for comfort. I mean, I realize he's pretty much going to be the cookie cutter. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do this. I realize that uh, Brom is going to be the cookie cutter. I'm tank lol character, but still, gotta use Brom. Help! <laughs> Ooh, I knocked somebody out. Why are you back? Why are you back so fast? I just ate the fruit. Ringo tabemas. Yeah, get in the middle. Haha, <laughs> they're all gone again. Haha. <laughs> ah. Ah. Eh. Pill, 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 pill. <laughs> yeah. ah! Son of a gun. Yes, my dying words. Pill, 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 pill. Ah! Was it? If you haven't seen it already, Farf, because I know other than maybe Naf, you're like the only person I know that's still mildly interested in League. Um, but yeah, R R uh, Riot put out their trailer for Project, or put out a trailer for Project L, which is their fighting game. And in the words of the developers, 
a 2v2 assist based fighting game. We're basically getting Marvel vs. Capcom 1, but with but with Rune Terror characters. Or I guess, well, it depends on how their knockout system works. M maybe more accurately, yeah, Street Fighter versus Tekken. Uh, so far, they've shown off a little bit of Katrina. Or, no, it's Katarina, sorry. They've shown off a, a tiny bit of Katarina. Mostly Darius. Is that the big axe guy's name? I feel like I've got that wrong. I'm gonna look this up. There it is, Darius. Okay, they showed off Darius, which is basically lol, Darius. I have I have a screen wide grab because axe. Uh, they showed off a tiny. Uh, uh, well, they've used her as a hitbox or anything, but they showed off a tiny bit of Ari. No, not zombie, living. They showed off a tiny bit of Ari. And then they mostly went on. They mostly went on for about five minutes about, hey, we implemented Echo into this game, and a little bit of Jinx as well. So that's the five I got right now: Katarina, Ari, Jinx, Darius, and Echo. Oh, is he's like the one of the newer champions, right? Like he's he's the forge guy, yeah. Like he forges his own stuff, or am I thinking? That, no, that is him. Yeah. Oh no no, uh, Nasus, Egyptian. Now nah, never mind. Again, it's been seven years since I've last played League. I don't remember anything. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah, the for the guy who forges his own weapons and makes them better. I don't remember his name too, but I thought like he was the last champion. I think I saw. I was like, oh, that's cool, because he's basically he can upgrade wherever he wants is this passive. Instead of having to go back to well to upgrade, he can just be like, eh, and upgrade right here. Oh good, the jammers are moving. Train. We're on a train on them. Go, 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 go. Choo-choo. Yeah. I hit him with the choo-choo. Oh boy. you never seen a Pac-Man move this slow. I'm dead. This happened to me the other night when I was playing the game. I'm just dead. Because they're both going to converge on my exact location. I thought they both, I thought they go right for you. Oops. Also, it's been t it was it happened earlier this week, but it's still funny to talk about 
So, so let's dial back. See, see, we're talking about games that are being released by companies that shouldn't, that are so asinine given their previous genres. How about that? Multiverses. Multiverses, everybody. Where Batman, Tom and Jerry, Arya Stark, and Shaggy Norval Rogers can all be on a platform fighter on the same screen. And Shaggy is the most intimidating person on screen. As Maximilian Dude said, the power of memes is something to behold. <clears throat> and I will say, like, uh, contradic uh, contradicting that, or, like, contradicting and complimenting that's that bit that's happening. Um, yeah. Sorry, uh, the game is happening and my brain is trying to go three directions at once. Spoiler, my brain can only get one direction at once and I'm dividing its attention too hard. So for this game, they actually got a lot of the voice talent that have been voicing uh, the, the these versions of their characters over the last ten. I'm an idiot. Over the last ten years, at least, or maybe the last twenty for some of them. Um. Shut. Let me look this up because I actually posted about this in the uh, in a chat, and it's it's not a very long chat. Wow. Uh, up here, up here, up here. Yes, I forgot his name. So, for example, Kevin Conroy is voicing Batman in this game. Kevin Conroy has been the voice of Batman in every animated fi film, show, and what have you. And also the Arkham games. So you know this, this Batman voice. And the artist Estelle... You know, her stage name is Estelle, who voices Garnet normally, is going to be voicing Garnet in this game. There's only a few exceptions to it where... There's only a few exceptions to it where it's like they could... Like the original voice character who did the original voice is no longer available, so they had to go with somebody else. Like, uh, Steven is not going to be voiced... Is not going to be voiced by his by his original like season one and two voice actor but he's being voiced by somebody who did like the Steven Universe future stuff so they try to get as many of the original voice cast for this game or the original yeah the original voice cast for the, as they could for these games By the way, game's free. <laughs> you know, I for I totally forgot. I downloaded Halo Infinite. I totally forgot that I downloaded Halo Infinite, so I could definitely be playing Halo Infinite, but here we are playing Pac-Man. <laughs> Yeah, that's how they're go they're definitely going the uh, pay for goodies route. Like uh, people, some people are have already snuffed out that there's going to be a talent tree of sorts you can do or a perk system you can buy into. If that makes sense. 
So there is like a perk system of sorts you can get for your characters. So that's basically where all their money is going to come in. The skins and these perks, whatever they do. Which, it sucks that it's, it's, it's basically saying we're pay to win, lol. So it sucks that that's basically what's happening right now. But... Even with that in mind, you know, it's still a game you can play for free that you can probably be like, oh, hey, you, me, you, and my friends, you know, want to play a platform fighter that everybody can just get? Okay, let's play multiverses and, and just gentlemen to not use perks. But I was starting to say, and I got distracted because of the game, is that, uh, uh, what is, who are the devs? Uh, Ludosity. Ludosity, who made, uh, what you want to call it? Who made, uh, Nicktoons, uh, Nicktoons Ultimate Brawl, or whatever the heck it's called? The Nicktoons Platform Fighter. Basically realized this was, found out that this was happening and went, uh, 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 okay, game's gonna be free and we're adding skins in the, in the next couple of weeks. Let us work on it. Oh no, I don't need enough dots. Okay, enough dots. More dots. <laughs> See so yeah, how that Nicktoons fighting game is gonna be free in the next few weeks. Oh hey, sour please moment. Why'd I go through the middle? This is all gonna end my demise! <laughs> well, they're working on voice lines too, apparently. This That's just a hearsay kind of thing. They're working on voice lines. Which, that's gonna be interesting, because I have no idea if Oblina, or the, the voice actor, slash, or the voice actress playing Oblina or Helga or even does work anymore. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of old, old Nicktoons that we don't know if the people, these people do their voice anymore. Um, give me a second here. Because I got to get the name right. Um, so, I mean... Who's to say, like... For the, in terms of Ren and Stimpy, you know, if they're going to get the guy who did the voice of <clears throat> who did the voice of Ren originally when it was on Nickelodeon and not on whatever network it went over to, if they're going to get uh, him to do the voice of Ren, or if they're going to have Billy West do both Stimpy and Ren, if it all comes to that. Which, I think people are old enough to know of this, because that's a newer show. For anybody who doesn't know who Billy West is, the, the role you probably know him best for is, is, is him being uh, Philip J. Fry. Or Zap Brannigan from Futurama. Because Billy West... Billy West... Philip... Or Billy West Fry voice is also his stimpy voice, so... <laughs> It is literally the same voice. <laughs> Just sounds a little younger because Ren and Stimpy was like right at the start of the 90s. Futurama went from 90s to 2012 or something like that. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm getting off on tangents about voice actors.
speaking of tangents about voice actors. I love how everybody, everybody was dunking, uh, yeah, Sean Chiplock. I love how everybody, when he first uh, got his first major role as Rivali in uh, Age of Calam or in uh, Breath of the Wild, everybody was dunking on Sean Chiplock. And now, just like, and now like in the last few years, he's hit a point of, he's hit a point of made it. And people f are accepting him as a voice actor, finally. Because what is it? His, uh, his most recent set of roles he's had in the last few, uh, in the last few years has been Rivali, like I said. He's also the voice of Teva. So, boy has a range. He is also the voice of, at least on the English side, he is the voice of Kai Kisuke in Guilty Gear Strive. And just recently, he got to be the voice of Spider-Man in the Marvel Avengers game on PS5. Which I had this conversation with, I had this conversation about this with Chris the other night. And it's kind of funny because she actually likes to, he, she, uh, Sean is Chris's favorite voice actor. But like, um, what is it? Sean Chiplock got his, got his role to be, to be Spider-Man in that Marvel game. After it was public knowledge, he, uh, he attempted to get verified on Twitter within two hours of him sending out his application, they denied they denied his verification. Or his verified check mark rather. Just like two hours? Damn! New record! <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, there we go. We got free. Free from the death. It's just like, this is about, it's like, here's him doing voice roles, and it's about a, this, this publication of everything that's happening with him is about as official as official gets. Nah, bro. Not real. Huh? I'm sorry, can you run that by me one last, oh, okay, good, it's gone. Can you run that by me one last time? Not real, bro. Also, I managed to go on that rant about voice actors until we got to sour, real sour please hours. Can I make that a thing? I might make that a thing. Real sour please hours. Boop. Eh, gift. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> Top five, baby. Like I always am. <laughs> Okay, but I've been consistently getting in top 10 of these matches, so it's fine. Yo, that's dope as hell. Sorry. Me being me, I, I, I booted, I went to Twitter in between rounds, because I'm always like this. Keys okay? It's Kizuke or Kis Kizute. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, King of Fighters 15 public beta is out is going on right now. Apparently, there is a contrast slider. There's a contrast slider in the game, and what it does is turning up the contrast slider darkens the background so the characters stand out more. That is a that is a really good idea for a game. 